Hello again, on our last video we created our character. Now we're going to select which expressions are going to make it into our sticker set. So we have a ton of expressions from our previous lessons, so I'm going to select some of them that I especially liked. I'm going to prioritize the ones that I find unique or funny. As you can see, I have the expressions I made on the circles at the bottom of the screen, while at the top, I have copied and pasted several heads of our character. So as you may have guessed, I'm going to start drawing the expressions on top of those heads. Let's start with the first one. I'm going to take the first head on the bottom row and create this malicious smile expression. So this one could be used for a number of things. It could be read as a mischievous face or very confident or maybe he's just laughing at our expense. Next, we're going to take the third one from the bottom row. It's a very unique face and it could be used for an awkward situation. Remember, all these stickers are meant to be useful in a conversation, so keep that in mind. I'm going to add some extra expression lines below the eyes and some drops of sweat to accentuate the idea of awkwardness. Now, let's move on to the second one on the right side of the screen. On this one, we have both eyelids slightly closed and the eyebrows are down. This indicates suspicion. He could be saying, are you lying to me? Or, oh, really? Also, he could be slightly disgusted. So as you can see, those are two entirely different situations in which your character could use the same face. The context of the conversation will define the meaning of this expression. So it's okay if it's ambiguous. In fact, it's something good. For the fourth one, I want to do this one at the right side of the screen where he's smiling with his eyes closed. I find it very funny and unique and I'll exaggerate the smile a little bit to make it even funnier. Again, the expression will be defined by the context of this conversation. This is just a silly face that may have a lot of uses. Let's continue with the fifth one. He's clearly confused on this one. He may be smiling during the confusion, which makes it funnier and kind of sarcastic, or he may be frowning, which is a bit more dramatic. On the next one, I'm improvising a little bit. One thing I didn't mention before is that the direction of the eyes also helps to build an expression. So if he's looking to the side, he's being shy, maybe he's a little bit embarrassed. If we make him blush, then we're reinforcing this idea. And if we drop the eyelids a little bit, that helps a lot too. So we can turn this expression into a romantic expression. We're going to explore it further later on this course. On the next one, he's just looking cool and cocky. There's not a lot to it. Once again, the context will define this expression as it has a lot of potential to be used in a huge number of situations. The last one is a disgust one. He's frowning, his mouth is open, and we're going to push this expression by adding some bags under his eyes and some wrinkles near his mouth. This one could be used for something like, I'm disgusted, I'm annoyed, I'm tired, I'm sick of this, and so on. So that's all for now, but remember, what I just did and what I just drawn is no more than what I taught you during this course. So this is something that you are perfectly capable to do yourself. Even if you're drawing stick figures, you can try these exact same expressions. If you find it difficult to come up with new expressions, maybe watch a movie or a cartoon and copy what the characters are doing with their faces. Or even better, you can look at yourself in the mirror and practice by doing silly faces. It all comes down to practice, so don't skip that. Okay, so I have selected all of these faces to be on our final sticker set. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to reinforce these ideas by using the body language of the character. See you there.